Kanazawa, the city of gold, samurais and geishas, known for having some of the best preserved historical districts in the whole of Japan. And today, we decided to completely change our travel plans in less than 12 hours and hop on a high-speed bullet train to explore it. Let's head off to Kanazawa, shall we? Good morning guys from here in Nagano. We're just checking out of this beautiful ryokan. If you haven't watched our last vlogs, we actually checked in and had our first traditional ryokan experience. It was amazing. Anyway, today we're actually heading off to Kanazawa, or it's also known as the Samurai Town. So this actually wasn't the original plan. We were actually meant to be going to Takayama, but if you watched the last vlog, you will have seen that my suitcase wheel is dodgy and we went a bit heavy with the merch early on in the trip. So every Everything is really heavy to lug around and our ryokan that we did have booked for Takayama is up a steep hill so we have rerouted our travel plans and we have found a train that goes direct to Kanazawa and then we can also get a fast bullet train called the Thunderbird that goes direct from Kanazawa to Osaka which obviously makes our journey shorter and it means we're not lugging our suitcases around multiple different stations across Japan so let's head off to Kanazawa shall we we're just waiting for a taxi you can hear the gongs going off in the temple, the big temple that we visited yesterday. And also, look at our view. It's not a bad view to be picked up from, am I right? The wonderful owners of the Rio Can we stayed in booked us a taxi, but after waiting on the street for what felt like only five minutes, the kind old man came across the road to help us. He had been keeping an eye on us to make sure we got in our taxi okay. Although he was more frail, he attempted to help us load our extremely heavy suitcases and even waved goodbye to us and bowed as we were making our way towards Nagano station. I was literally smiling from ear to ear at this whole wholesome experience and me and Dean still tell this story every time we talk to family and friends about our time here in Japan. Just in the train station getting some food. Dean's picking some cookies from the stand, and it's so good here, there's so much to choose from. And I've got an Ichigo sandwich to try because I've always wanted to try one of these. This one's actually got like an extra bit in with cream. I think it's basically just cream and strawberries in like a sweet white bread. I always wanted to try it. We're gonna try it on the train. Okay, we got our ticket. There's actually a foreign customer counter here where you can go in and she spoke English and she helped us out. We're actually getting a later train because we uh, need the toilet and also the first train was in five minutes and you have to find like the platform and stuff and I didn't want to rush. The second train uh, was in 15 minutes but again I need the toilet and I didn't want to rush and the next train is the fastest train um, to Kanazawa so we thought we might as well just wait, we'll sit on the platform, we'll maybe eat our food. So now we've got plenty of time, we're not feeling like we're rushed or anything uh, but they have plenty of trains going so now we have to head to the Shinkansen gate. It costs around £50 each. We uh, reserved our seats as well for our bags. She said it's not so busy, uh, so we could have been okay. Because if you've got like standard large uh, kind of suitcases, you can fit it in front of you, but they do recommend to reserve your seats. Yeah, let's head to Kanazawa, shall we? <laughs> To find your train, there's four different entrances to Shinkansen. But if you see, if you look closely at the numbers, you see 614 there, we're not that one. We are 509 um, to Kanazawa. So I try and match up the time we're leaving. So 11.43 and car 509. There we go, 509, 11.43, number 12. So you can see. 
We're in number 509, the time zone of 43, and it's at platform 12. So we need to go down to the Shinkansen at platform 12. We're now on our platform. It says the car number five, which it'll say on your ticket. Heading to Kanazawa now. There's also a bullet train behind us going to Tokyo, which is the type we got on to get here in Nagano. It's our train. Oh, sweet. So smooth. We made it on the bullet train. It's the same as the one we got on yesterday. Come in here space in front of us and can lean back. Now it's time to go to has become the face of Kanazawa itself, a proud symbol of the city's harmony between tradition and progress. This iconic gateway stands as a testament to architectural brilliance, designed to resemble a graceful curve of the traditional Japanese Tsumi dress. That's so cool, the sign here is in Waterloo. And it literally flicks, it says welcome at the minute, but it flicks between the time and stuff. How cool is that? We've just come to our hotel, but we can't check in for another hour. Luckily though, they do free coffee in reception, so I've got myself a coffee. And now we're just gonna chill until we need to check in. I don't think we're gonna see many of the sites today. We're gonna leave that for the full day tomorrow and go to the attractions, but we're just gonna sit here and see what there is to do because we didn't get to fully research it, but I do know there is a strip that I really wanna see uh, that's really well preserved. So we're definitely gonna be doing that tomorrow. Just checked into our hotel hotel room they actually let us check in a little bit earlier which was nice and it is beautiful in this room we actually opted for a twin room because I felt like if we opt for a twin room it wasn't any more expensive we also have an awesome view outside we're on the ninth floor and our room I'm literally looking at it right now overlooks a shrine so <laughs> it overlooks two shrines actually so we are just going to chill out we're actually going to head out for food for a little bit but we're probably just going to do a konbini food because tomorrow is the day we're going to explore kanazawa and the weather looks really good and promising for tomorrow so fingers Gosh, crossed we've made a mess in this hotel room dean washed all our clothes that we wore last night and i need to iron them look at the little mini iron the hotel brought anyway today we're heading off to the gardens and kanazawa castle and hopefully going down the traditional samurai street let's head to kanazawa castle shall we we just put it into google and it says it's only a 15 minute walk so we're gonna go walk to kanazawa castle There's so many good food here. We honestly eat here most nights. We get like a meal and get it warmed up. I am getting a salad. Uh, but there's literally so much stuff. Look at these as well. There's little cubes of cheesecakes. So many tasty things.
we're just at the gate entrance I think we go in this way but it's already so like mystical and magical as you come in like, look at all the moss covered stones and like the trees and stuff it looks so cool in here right let's go in We're just entering the gardens and it says there was a well located here since the early Edo period and it's just covered with bamboos but this is a rest area look how amazing it looks it's got like this little lake and it's got these bridges and stuff that connect it ah, it's so peaceful just browsing the gardens and one of the guys came out and works here and said thank you for coming to Ka Kanazawa and gave us origami crane but it's not just any crane look it moves it flaps its wings how cute is that I love it we got little matching ones that's so cute I can't believe it people here are so nice we're just trying to figure out where uh, the castle is but look how nice and beautiful the walking paths look everywhere and also flowers are all sprouting out it's so beautiful here and we picked a really good day to visit. So here you can actually see people digging up things. I think this is actually what they're doing. They're like an archaeological site. Whoa, it's actually huge. Look at the size of the site. So we are right here. This is the archaeological area. Yeah, it's massive. This whole area is called Kanazawa Castle Park. This is so pretty. It's got a beautiful view over here and you can sit here and look over these fields. This is like a really peaceful area. I can hear frogs. Peaceful area just to walk around. Wait a second. We can hear loads of croaking. I wonder if my mic is picking that up. It kind of sounds like clickers off the last of us, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, we can hear all the frogs going, but I can't see them. They're probably very heavily disguised. But this is a beautiful and very peaceful area to walk around and see all like the hydrangeas, all the trees and leaves. It's so beautiful here. Very, very peaceful. We're just going to have a look a little bit at the building over here because it looks super pretty. And then we're probably going to head to the old district, which we're really excited to look for. But we picked a really nice day to wander around the park. Oh, I kind of want to see where the frog noises are coming from. Ah, I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up, but there's a turtle. Oh, it's out of focus. Damn it. There, is it picking it up? There's a turtle swimming in the water over here. Oh, it's very peaceful. And you can hear all like, I think frogs. We think they're all hid in these rocks. We can't see them. Can you hear that? Oh, oh wait, there. One just popped out. Nestled in the heart of Kanazawa, Japan, this historical gem combines grand architecture with stunning landscapes. The castle was originally constructed in the 16th century and offers a glimpse into Japan's feudal past. Kanazawa Castle's roots trace back to the Maeda clan, who were also powerful rulers during the Edo period and predominant samurai lords. The Maeda clan was also known for its innovative endeavours, including the production of white lead. White lead was used in cosmetics, paints and medicine, and the castle even had facilities for white lead production, highlighting the domain's economic diversity. The layout features a central donjon or main tower, surrounded by various gates, walls and secondary structures which was designed to provide defense and administrative functionality. Surrounding the castle were various areas of samurai residences, administrative buildings and more. These areas collectively formed a well-organized castle town demonstrating the clan's meticulous planning. While much of Kanazawa Castle was destroyed over the centuries due to fires and other factors, significant efforts have been made to restore and reconstruct parts of the castle complex. The current structures 
our modern reconstructions that aim to capture the original design and atmosphere. Dean just said you're not getting through this castle wall easily, are you? Look yes. how thick this door is. And look at the massive door stop they've got for it. It's absolutely huge. Dean keeps asking where we are because he keeps thinking of Kawasaki. I'm not telling him anymore because I've told him about 20 times. Look how massive this one giant wooden beam is as well. How on earth did they transport that? It's huge. <laughs> I'm trying to get pictures of the mountains. Look how beautiful that looks. We're just making our way down to the old town from the Kanazawa Castle Park. But everywhere I look, just looks stunning. It's beautiful here. Wait for me, Dean. There's a sign over here saying beware of kites. I think it's the birds, Dean. Not the actual thing. Yeah, food, right? yeah people's food. I want to see one. We're just walking the streets and there's literally so many cool buildings and stuff just as we're walking around. I can't stop stopping and getting my camera out. I think on our way we just spotted a cafe called Cafe Can over here. Looks really nice. It's got shaved ice stain made in Kanazawa it says. Wow, it's really cool and like modern in here. And look, they've got shaved ice, brown sugar, soybean flour, shaved ice. They do all sorts of really cool sweets and food here. Look at all these. Kaga Bocha Chiffon Cake, Kenzai with Kanazawa ice cream. Looks like beans for ice cream. Oh my goodness, our brown sugar shaved ice has come out. It looks like it's got some sort of brown sugar sauce. I don't know what, like, this stuff is i think it's like soybean or something and then we've got some sort of powdered dessert I, d I think you put that on on the layers of shaved ice once it runs out dean i think i don't know how to do it it's warm, it's warm. or maybe pour it on top whoa <laughs> oh it collapsed in oh this looks like brown sugar so it's basically just ice with like a topping okay let's try it it's melting because of that hot um syrup <laughs> Mmm. Do you know what it tastes a little bit like, Dean? Wheat a bit. Wheat a bit of brown sugar on. Mmm. Really nice though, but it's got like a earthy, wheat a bit flavour, but then like loads of brown sugar. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a gelatinous sweet. But it's not too sugary. Like most Japanese is it. I know like sometimes like in Orlando it's like you can get really sugary stuff. It's not that sugary, it's like really well blended. It's also got the red bean paste at the bottom here. I really like it, it tastes like wheat bix It's like a sugary wheat bix Also the other desserts here look amazing. We're just walking to the old town, but look how cool this is car here looks. Really cool. Anyway, let's head to the old town. This is really pretty and this area just smells like flowers for some reason, even though I can't see many flowers, but it's a little stream running through these buildings. And it just looks so beautiful here. You can sit on this bench, as Dean is doing right now, and listen to the stream trickling. At the minute you can hear the traffic lights.
these side streets are so cool to look down. There's just like plants and all sorts everywhere. So here it looks like you can do a geisha experience. Dean's gone down one of these side alleys, but how good is it around here? It's really beautiful around here. This is where the geisha and the tea ceremonies, uh, you can actually do the experiences in these houses. But look at these, we just actually stumbled upon these. We weren't pl planning on finding them. But it is so magical here. It looks really pretty. I really like this. It's got like the hydrangeas and the steps. It looks so beautiful. There's also a cafe here as well, serving food and drinks and alcohol. Look at this, it's so cool. Kanazawa is renowned for its well-preserved old streets that offer a glimpse into Japan's samurai and geisha past. The city's commitment to preserving its historical districts has made it a very popular destination for those seeking an authentic experience. The town has several districts and as we made our way to the most famous geisha district, the Higashi Chaya district, we ended up walking through Kazuo Machi Chaya district, another geisha area known for its picturesque stone paved streets, flowing canals and quaint tea houses. Just crossing this bridge to get to another old town. But it's been really beautiful here. There's a big river with other bridges across here. But now we're heading to Old Town. Um, excuse me, but are these rabbits doing the dirty or what? What's going on here? It's in the cool location, it looks like they're like a clothes store. But look at the building that it's in. They've also got their own gachapon inside. These buildings are literally so amazing. Look at all these. They're so fascinating to look at. down what looks like a traditional shopping street and there's all sorts of different places to eat and little souvenir shops. Ooh, look in there Dean. How cool does that look? So that was like a gold leaf shop um, and Kanazawa roughly translates to something about gold leaf. I'll put it on screen so you can see. We read up about that. You can actually get gold leaf ice cream here. And this Kanazawa is known for its like arts and crafts. And they do a lot of like craftsmanship here. And you used to produce gold here, didn't they, Dean? Uh, like gold leaf. 99% of gold leaf that's made in Japan is made in Kanazawa. Oh, so 99% of gold leaf made in Japan is made right here in Kanazawa. So that's pretty cool. Looks like there might be a wedding and some sort of filming going on over here. This building here looks really cool as well and very traditional. You can eat at the top of here. Wow, the street looks so cool. We're in this really beautiful shop that sells all like souvenirs and everything. But it's so pretty in here, it smells amazing as well. And they've got really nice music playing. I'm gonna get a postcard. Got this one over here, it's a sake brewery. They do seasonal sake over here. Here are some of the sake, I can't remember what these are called, but basically like where the store of sake.
we're second is that a Sharingan. We just went into that store and it did really cool like arts, uh, artisanal like chopsticks and stuff and it also did incense. So we got two sets of chopsticks from my brother. But look how nice this house is behind me as well. Everywhere's so pretty here. But actually here you go, here's some of the chopsticks that they did inside. We weren't allowed to film inside but it's really cool. It smells amazing. We've come to this really mm. cool looking dumpling place and you go and you sit on tatimi mats through there so we thought we'd try it out. But also notice this a lot, you can't eat while walk. I know in Japan eating and walking is actually like a little bit frowned upon. Not many people do it really. Uh, but it's actually prohibited in this area probably so you don't spill anything on the streets. We sit here. It's very cool in here. There's like a little garden so you can kind of view out there. Just a little mini one. And we're kind of sat on the floor and we're just about to get a dumpling set. So I got the sweet soybean dumpling soup and Dean got the set so you get little toppings. So I'm guessing you dip it in the syrup and then you can add the soybeans and the powder at the end. Oh, it looks very interesting. I have no idea what this is here. But it's like... I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like you meant to eat it with this. I don't know. Mm. That's like salty. And this is like a sweet soup made out of like the red bean paste. Mm. And the dumplings are just like really starchy. They're a little bit similar texture to the dango we tried the other day in Nagano. Weird because it's cold. I'm gonna dip it in this sticky sauce, which is similar to the sauce we had. But I think it's like sweet and soy sauce. I might dip it in this powder. Mmm. I really like that um, sweet soy sauce. It's similar to the dango we had the other day. And then this is just sweet red bean paste. Dip it in all of it. I like it. That was a very fun experience and I really like those dumplings and the powder that comes with them. Uh, anyway, now, we're, <laughs> I don't even think we've been to the main bit. Uh, we're just going to have another wander around. The sun is beginning to set and it looks so beautiful and the weather is cooling down a little bit. Absolutely beautiful. streets are so cool they've got a very peaceful vibe to them it's even better now that it's like golden hour uh, the weather has turned perfect and it just looks even more like beautiful and magical i can also imagine walking around here at night when all the lights are on i bet that looks really magical uh, but i think the shops might shut around five but it's just really cool i feel like a place if i can compare this to england it's like the japanese york you know like really old traditional buildings that are really well kept. It's so beautiful. I definitely recommend a trip here and just a slow walk around everywhere. We're back on the main bit now and I think we're gonna head off now. If you come to Kanazawa you can also get gold leaf ice cream and gold leaf cake to try so if you want to try having some ice cream in Kanazawa you can get it with gold leaf on. So we were just on the way to the hotel and we stopped by this gelato place and Dean wanted to try it because it had all sorts of different types of flavours. We've got miso cheese flavour and miso and walnut flavour here so oh and caramel go on then give it a go. Nice! Miso? Yeah, it's only miso really. Yes, so it's nice and uh, creamy. Mmm! You know what it tastes like? You know those milk bars you get? It tastes like one of them. Like the milk bars, like creamy milk bars. It's got like a slight salty taste to it. 
but it's still sweet, but it's not too sugary or sweet. Mmm! It's really nice. We're just going back to our hotel and they have got a big market here called Om Omicho Market. It's a street market lined with food shops, restaurants, uh, but it is unfortunately closing because it's all over now. We just got back to our room and the sun is setting and look how beautiful it looks out here. This is such a nice view of the city. Anyway, we have had a beautiful time here in Kanazawa. Honestly, it's been stunning. We picked a really good day for the weather to explore the Castle Park and also the Old Town. It's been absolutely beautiful. Just what we needed, a more chilled, slow stroll. Although we have done quite a lot of steps actually, because we've done like pretty much, we've just walked everywhere. We didn't get any public transport. Anyway, we're gonna snuggle up. I'm gonna watch Spy Family. We're gonna eat our combini meals. I ended up getting a katsu curry. And we're gonna call it a night because tomorrow is travel day to Osaka. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. And if you wanna see a lot more Japan vlogs, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Right then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. <gasps> Goodbye.